Oh, hello. Hi. Welcome. If you're a witch who loves performing rituals by candlelight, or a Midwestern mom who just wants to add some pizzazz to her decor, or both, you are gonna love today's craft. Great news, taper candles are back in a big way. We've seen tall ones and tapers in different shapes. They look very elegant, but the thing about taper candles is that unless you're dining in a castle regularly, which I am not anymore because of COVID, they can be a little bit intense in an apartment. And I know the candle community is gonna come for me, but I don't care, I'm gonna say it, I have to speak my truth. Tapers are really aggressive and they're always trying to light your cat on fire. And worst of all, they're usually boring and white. And if you didn't know already, I love color. And when I say color, I don't mean like cool neutral tones. I mean color. This is color. This is color. This is color. So as I like to do, we're gonna do a cheap dollar store hack. We're gonna dip dye some candles and make more petite tapers that are cute and colorful and will actually bring cheer to your one bedroom castle. Now, one of my favorite things to do is to take a really janky ass product and make it cuter. Let's talk supplies. We are starting with five hour emergency candles, $1 from the dollar store. Glamorous scented wax melts, also from the dollar store. And a metal bowl, also from the dollar store. So let's go. Here we are in my plain white kitchen. Don't tell anyone. So what needs to happen is we're gonna take the wax melts and we're gonna melt them down in a little double boiler situation. And then we're gonna take each individual candle and dip them into the wax melts to make a design. Ooh, look at that. So we have like a blush kind of tangerine one. We have kind of this lime green and we have this rose pink. Step one, we are putting water in a pan. Step two, we are boiling that water. And while we're waiting for that to boil, I did wanna make a really exciting announcement. Um, I never thought this day would come since I've only had a YouTube channel for literally one episode, but I was approached by a brand and I got to fulfill a lifelong dream of releasing a blush palette. Um, you guys are gonna love it. It's by everyone's favorite, brand, Luminescence. It's beach rose scented, it's great for summer, it's great on all skin tones, so I think you guys are really, really gonna like this one. Ooh baby, we are boiling. And now we are placing the candle melts in the boiling water. If you haven't done many wax-based crafts before, you need to get it hot enough to melt it from the top, uh, but you don't wanna get any water in it or else it'll mess up the wax. Look how beautiful, Oh, she's already melting. Now I'm gonna pour a bunch of sand into this container so that as the candles dry, we can put them upright. And there we have the pink wax. And we're gonna make our first dips. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep building colors by layer and you'll see them get cuter and cuter. The good thing is that this actually doesn't dry as fast as you think it would. So you have plenty of time to dip and you can do the top part as well as the bottom part and kind of layer over some designs. Some of them are already dry. So I'm gonna go back in and do a little double dipping. If you can see there's like a half one. Now you guys know, I always say there's a moment of hell in every DIY project and I realized the mistake I made. Um, we needed to have a substance that these candles could stand upright in. And the smartest thing to do now I realize would be to use like rice or even like Epsom salts, which I don't have enough for, of course. Um, but the reason being, of course, that sand is sand and it gets everywhere. And if you wanna flip or do any designs, it's just gonna be a total mess. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put everything back into the sandbox and I found some like loose pebbles that hopefully will be a little bit better. Maybe that'll be better. Thank you. Nope. Now it dented the bottom. Okay, new idea. This is actually walnut case cat litter. It's actually bigger than sand, but less damaging than rocks. 
So, ugh, it's problem solved. And we're doing it again, baby. Gorgeous. This scent is Lemoncello. You guys remember when uh, Danny DeVito was like drunk on the view off Lemoncello? <laughs> Guys, these are not reliable. That was terrifying, so. I'm just gonna sit here with that. Ooh. Ooh, this one is very light. So light. It's literally the color of my base foundation. Pale and orange. This is one for all you neutral lovers. Gross. Let's get a little two-tone in there. So I can get this like almost all the way up to the rim. Ooh, look at that. Full dip. She might be a very pretty kind of two-tone color moment with this pink. Okay, she is gonna be beautiful. One thing that we don't have to finish this project is an actual candle holder. No surprise, we're gonna make one with very simple supplies, also shocker from the Dollar Tree. So I picked up these wood blocks from the Dollar Tree and I don't know, they're supposed to like be for writing, you know, inspirational messages on or something, ugh. But I got three of them and what I'm gonna do is glue them together and then I'm gonna drill little holes and then that will be a standing cute candle holder. First thing I'm gonna do is just use a little bit of wood filler to fill these holes before I glue them all together. If you like toxic smells, you're gonna love wood filler. Okay, and while that waits to dry, I'm actually just gonna start gluing them together. Just using Gorilla Glue, which, no comment. Just making a cute little Gorilla Glue sandwich. Then I'm gonna put some heavy books on this just to keep it nice and tight. The last thing we have to do is just bore some holes into this candle holder stack. And to be honest, I have never done this before. So I think what I'm gonna do is practice on the underside and then flip it over to make sure it's the right depth on the top side. So I got these wood boring, very terrifying looking drill bits and I'm gonna bore down and create holes. Look at that. After all these years, we're finally at the end of this exciting project and I finally sanded everything, we bored the holes, and they are a little bit tight, but as you know, you can kind of shave down the butts of candles to fit in, and that's kind of common, so it's not my fault that this didn't fit exactly, okay? And we are gonna paint this white because sometimes you do need to let the colors speak for themselves. Am I gonna paint the bottom? No, ma'am. You guys ever afraid you're basic? I'm not. I love painting. I love acrylic paint. That's a fun thing about me. Now, while we wait for this to dry so I can do it the second coat, let's just take a moment to expand our minds. Um, I'd like to read to you today from my favorite book, uh, The Truth About Witchcraft Today, a classic 1990s witchcraft book. I just assume this book is full of spells to win your second divorce or to climb the corporate ladder. I love what she's wearing. I love that she's wearing a turtleneck. Be careful wearing turtlenecks. They're very, very, very powerful magic. Ritual systems, covens, ooh, circles of stones. Books are not about what's inside. It's really only the cover that matters. And I just don't think you're ever gonna get a better cover than The Truth About Witchcraft Today, written by a man. 
Anyway, you guys are ready to see the final result, I'm sure. So here's your big reveal. I don't want to brag, but we did take $6 worth of candle supplies. We got over a dozen candles. We made a $3 candle holder. Can you even recover from this elegance and glamour? Some of them are questionable. That's what you can give to your enemies. And who doesn't want to add a little light to their life in these terribly dark times? So go ahead and like and subscribe. I'll have more dollar store DIYs for all my cheap whores out there. And I will see you next time. I'm sorry, I really tried to keep it white, but I had to paint a new pattern on it. Okay, bye.